Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, your one and only, and today we're going to be playing some Knights Chronicle, and Guild Wars is almost up, so it's going to be exactly like Seven Knights, <laughs> exactly how I thought their like, guild battles were going to go, where you attack somebody, take their stars, or something like that. That's pretty much how it's going to be. So we got five minutes here, so I wanted to use these like five minutes to go into the guild shop and talk about some of the runes that are in here. And we already talked about Ian. Ian is pretty much a really good tank that everybody should be aiming for, or at least aim for. So we got some new runes. We got Time, Barrier, Poison, Multi-Strike, and Taunt, and Uni Unity. So I'm guessing these runes are inside of the rune setups. Oh, whoops. No, that's not what I wanted to do. God darn it. Hold on. I got this. All right, there we go. So are these the new ones? Ah, yeah. Here goes the new ones. All right, where do they start? Here? No, okay. Time. The chance to decrease your cooldown per killing an enemy once per attack. Wait, what? Once per attack. Oh, okay. Once per attack meaning that if, I guess if you multi-strike again and kill somebody else, it doesn't count. Or maybe something like that. That's, that's, huh. Hopefully somebody else can explain that one to me when it says, when it says that. All right, it has barrier. 50% chance of getting a shield at the start of the turn. That could actually be helpful for a couple of tanks. So I wouldn't even mind this. And plus it's only two. That's not half bad. What else we got here? We got a 40% chance of poisoning an enemy for 30% of an attack on a successful skill one. Okay, multi-strike. This is the one that kind of confused me because I thought we already had, you know, multi-strike but this one has a hundred percent chance for multi-strike to inflict 30 percent additional damage that oh my god so if you actually multi-strike you're gonna be doing a lot of damage so i might use this on my ashley so that could actually be good so i might use burst frenzy and this so, hmm, so many builds I can go with now. Alright, chance to taunt the target on 4, oh. Wait. Upon a successful attack using a skill. Uh, that kind of hurts tanks though, when you think about it. Well, um... That's gonna be a weird one to do with tanks, considering that we mostly get like one chance and that the game replaces if you have like two turns on like a effect and you use your skill one, let's say Electra for example, Electra has a taunt for one turn. If I have like a two turn taunt on and Electra hits, it will replace that two turn with a one turn. So it just replaces it which really does suck. I wish it did not replace it if it's like above whatever attack you're using. But yeah, that just that just sucks. But then again, that will cause an issue for a lot of other rooms. I wish it was just for Taunt only at least. All right, increases caster's attack by 40% if the party has five of the same L. Ooh. So characters like Ruby and Esna can actually really benefit for this if you're going with a full team. So that isn't half bad either. I recommend just creating a second Esna and second Ruby that has this compared to having like a main Ruby for damage and stuff. Because you don't want to keep switching out runes and stuff like that. Alright, next one. Crush. 100% chance to inflict additional damage when attacking attack type enemies. Same thing for... Okay, so all those are just 
different hybrids of Crush. Okay. That could be interesting. Alright, so... The attack phase has started. Now we need to go find somebody to attack. Actually, I'm attack this guy. His, his team could be fun to take down. So now I gotta put in my team. Nah, I'm not gonna take her. Eh, I haven't taken in Damien in a while. So let's see, is it like full team survives and you get three stars and if somebody dies you get less? Oh god, it's my first time login lags. Go ahead and bait out those revives. You gotta stun her. I'm watching out for her. For her too. She puts everybody to sleep. Oh, well, no, we got sleep dance done. Jeez. The light should go away. <laughs> I deal with this every, like, time I start up the game, unfortunately. Ah. You know what? We're gonna go with a different stand here. We're actually gonna take out Ryu. Or, you know what? Yeah, let's go with our first plan. I, I keep changing plans. We can actually kill her and force him to start using revives and wasting. I'll do the same thing. It's gonna be a fun battle. There's a stun. And yeah, let's go ahead and try and finish. Yeah, waste your heals. And she's dead. The only teams I'm gonna have to watch out for this, like, Gil Battle is Amon and Ezna. Those two combos are gonna be really annoying. It's funny because I've been posting a lot of Knight's Chronicle this whole week. I've been trying to, it's just that it's passively happened, you know? Alright. Gotta boost everyone to take advantage of our damage here. Oh, we're, we're timed too. What? That's not fun. Dude, don't do that. Come on. So I wonder what happens at that point. Oh wow, her heal all is proccing like a lot. But we should have enough time to heal.
Wait, what? Oh, God, she was taunted. That's annoying. Get a resolve out the way. Ah, no mental seal? Come on. That sucks. So, yeah, we're not going to have enough time, maybe. Really depends on how fast everybody's skills activate. Jeez. So, you gotta just think quick and just keep going. It's it's kind of pressure right there. Ah, no, I'm not gonna make it. Ah, we only have one attack. So, that counts as a defeat? That's actually dumb. Especially when you out. Whatever. Alright, so that's how that works. Actually, it's a good thing that we do that in this video to show off how how those turns work. So that's one waste. That's actually pretty interesting, but actually, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure Seven Knights was the same way. But guys, it's crucial to just speed. You you can't just sit there and think in this game, it pressures you to actually fight. You can't even wait your turns out and stuff like that. It's it's gonna suck, man. You gotta, you gotta just keep going. That's basically what this is gonna be. Okay, why does it keep erasing my team, though? Wait, does it take out team? Oh, that's gonna be so boring, dude. What? So, whichever team you use are pretty much out. So, you have to make a lot of extra characters. Or is it the ones that get defeated you can't use anymore? Hold on, let's see how this goes. At least we're seeing the effects here the first hand. It's actually way different from Seven Knights, but still mostly the same. We should be fine with Sardic sort of here. Because I can just do this. Charm knows too. Then I can do this. Charm more. I can do this. <laughs> Let's see if that's the standing. If you lose or somebody dies, you know, we're going to keep Ashley dead just to test it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, we're stunned. I have my main team and everything thought out, man. That really does suck. That is gonna play like that. But it also, like, increases. Oh, well then. Increases the intensity of you having to keep your team alive, you know? Yeah, I'm not going to win with this team, unfortunately, just because... Uh, man. It's kind of a... Kind of a headache, dude. So that means I got to work on, like, a lot of characters, unfortunately. Actually... I think she should be fine. Well, also, we keep... Kill Demios, but... Got that crap on us. Oh, no, I don't think we're gonna kill them because everybody's gonna be just turning and turning. Maybe we should wait him off first and deal with either Ashley or Mary. Ah, oh, this is going terribly. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah, I did not have like a lot of people ready for this. And I was not ready for the hey. If if you get defeated, you can't use that team. Like I would have been okay with if they die, you can't use them, but apparently it's different from their standpoint. Yeah, so this is gonna really be rough. So at least we did this now, so I can get like a like an understanding of how all of this is gonna go. Let's see. 
if there's any like weaker people that I can actually match up, match up my weaker teams with. Maybe we can do this. I doubt it, but you know what? We're gonna see. We're gonna test it. Cause I honestly, honestly want to get one win. I hope it's not like a one-use thing. Then hey, you gotta change characters. Get her out. Ah, huh, nobody slept. What? Okay. Like, I hate attacking smaller teams, but I, I need to do this for experiment. Does this hit all? Okay, no. Nah, well, yeah, it does. Defense down. Let's go ahead and kill Rebecca. It sucks because the, the one I lost was just because I wasn't fast enough. I could have won it, but I didn't realize that there was a timer there. That kind of threw me off. So yeah, it is kind of like the... Don't let like a unit die. If a unit dies, you lose a star. It's basically like adventure. Or let's say tower. If one of your people die, then you lose a star. If you not, if you don't do it fast enough, you probably lose a star too. So yeah, that's gonna be fun. All right. So. Uh, oh crap! Will let me go in and see another team? Okay. Oh no. Oh no. It is a one-time use thing. If you... Oh no. That is not... Something I enjoy. So whatever units you use... Are basically out. It's not if they get defeated. It's basically if you use them, they're out. Oh no. Okay, yeah. Thighs were just talking about that. Dude, that sucks. Ah, oh, man, that, that's unfortunate. That means they're going to encourage us to attack the lower levels, too. So let's say we're, we're all done with our stronger units. We're going to have to come down here and just hit all the weaker units they have, too. Especially if they're just getting into the game, you know, just give them a rough start, too. Man, that sucks. But I'm actually interested to know how the rewards are going to be given out. So if we win, we get this many? What? If we lose, we get this much. Huh. And the season. Okay, a thousand is given out. For the top guilds, um, I don't think we're going to be in plat or gold or anything since our guild is sort of like casual at the moment. How much is he? Oh, that's going to be a lot of work. Eh, you don't really need three star. If anything, you could just do the day ones and that's pretty much easier than going for the max six <laughs> or the five. Man. Guild battle is going to be rough as hell, especially for like casual players and mid-game players. If you're like Wells and up, and 
been expanding pretty well versus everybody else, you're going to have an easy time compared to what everybody else is going to deal with. So, what we learned from this guild adventure is basically you can only use a unit one time per battle. It doesn't matter if you lose or win, you still can't use that unit again. And rewards in guild battle are going to make us grind for a couple of days just to get most of these stuff. Uh, the, the runes are not all that bad, but the, this and up is going to be annoying to get. So, another one is choose your opponents wisely. If you, if you know you can't beat them in time and you know they're going to be a little bit tanky and stuff like that, Avoid them, <laughs> is basically all, all I can tell you. Yeah, basically. Man, that's gonna... Mm. That's interesting, actually. Oh, it even gives you your win rate and stuff like that. Did anybody else attack you? Oh, I guess, guess not. Huh. I wish they gave us like a um, history to see who attacked us and stuff like that. All right, so we're gonna classify my first attack as a win, okay? Because that was BS. <laughs> I didn't know there was a timer there. I was not paying attention to it, and I could have won that. So we're gonna count this as two out of one. <laughs> All right. All right, I guess I'll give my two cents on the whole guild battle thing. Um, me and the guild have been talking a little bit, talking about the timer and everything. Hopefully, it will be removed and everything. It is still beta, guys. It is still beta. Um, if anything, get your two cents out there. You know, give them some feedback on guild battle. Help them out. You know, it's beta. They need feedback, suggestions, um, pretty much anything. And... I know some people won't like favor my opinion of like a few things inside of guild battle, which is fine, which is fine. You guys have your own opinion. I have my own opinion too, but timer needs to be increased or removed because here's the thing. People are going to just stack on stalling teams like Claude, Electra, Ruby, Kane. Um, Ramu, they're just gonna keep stall. They're just gonna make stalling teams that are really tanky and hard to get rid of. Then characters like you're gonna need to go for characters like Amon or or Esna that will kill the opponents like a lot faster. But you gotta hope that they use their three on Amon, and you gotta hope that there isn't a Ru on their team because I did screw up. I, I should have attacked the Rue with the um, three instead of the um, whoever I had attacked. Uh, I think it was the Electra. But yeah, you guys saw I was really close to killing her. Then the timer was just like, ah, not today. <laughs> but another thing I wanted to definitely close on was the whole you can only use a unit once. That. Um, hmm. Using the units once is kind of really annoying. If anything, I personally would love the whole thing that Seven Knights did. If a unit died and wasn't revived at the end of the match or isn't alive at the end of the match, it's pretty much unusable. So that's so I was thinking they should go with the whole death situation, not the whole one use situation. Because once you do the one use situation, mid players or new players in a game are not going to be able to use all three of their attacks especially if they're just starting out and they find somebody who they can actually take out then at the end of the match they find somebody else they can take out but their team is unusable even at the end of it that's going to be really difficult for them so this is going to be like more harsh and rougher on the newer players that are in the game versus everybody else who's been like mid or 
been here since the start of the game like me um, even I'm still pretty much casual and you guys saw my situation of what I had left because I've just been mainly focusing on one character at a time now so this is forcing people to expand past that wells will be fine wells will be just fine they don't have to worry about anything they're still gonna have a lot of characters to switch to but i think it really depends on how what route they want to go i think this is a better route for them and us because we would have less stress on us if we just take out one unit and replace it if they do die at the end of the match instead of Hey, replace this whole team, then move on. Because even inside of Seven Knights, it didn't do that. And I wish we kind of had Seven Knights rules and everything. But then again, it's still kind of dumb that we still lose, even though we have more characters and way more HP than, our, than the Defender. But then again, I think Seven Knights was that way too. If the Defender didn't die, then... They basically win. Um, hmm. I mean, I was at least hoping for at least one star at that point if I didn't finish them off. But yeah, you don't even get it. You don't even get that. It's it's really harsh right now. But this is the beta. Remember, there has to be like suggestions, feedback and everything. Give them as much as you guys want just to help them out with the whole situation. You know, Developers need help on this. Beta. Not the... This is not the permanent project. This is not, like, the thing they're sticking with. It can still be changed. But with the help of the community and everything. So, help out as much as you guys can. But with that said, I will see you guys on the next one. And let's see where, where are we at right now. Alright, we're at 11. Everybody's doing it. Yeah, it seems like nobody's getting three stars at the moment just because of the whole situation with that. Um, how's the other good members doing? Ah, oh, Platt got one loss because of the whole timer thing. He was talking about it in chat. We got a win. She's trying to pick and choose who she wants to fight. Okay, we got two wins here. Yeah. Most of the guild members are getting losses by timer. So, that is kind of hurting us right now. But yeah, that's pretty much it for Guild Battle. I'm not sure if I'm going to upload another Knights Chronicle video this week or anything. It really depends on what happens. I just literally have just been uploading anything that's in my sights or I've been working on or I need to get up or I feel like I need to get up. So yeah, see you guys tonight for some more Knights Chronicle stream. And then after Knights Chronicle, we're going to play Prey and try to finish that game up. So if you guys are into horror games or want to see me play Prey tonight, I'm going to be playing it on twitch.tv slash both notes and mouths. So until then, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.